Fair dues, can you use that perfume here? No. Well, it said something about fragrance. So it wasn't—it wasn't completely random. Really. <laughs> and one more possibility to check. Oh, cool. Actually, after that, but whatever. No, obviously, I'm trying to use that piece of paper there. Guess you can't. Another Stanley parable. Stun gun battery, health drink, health drink. Nothing but cleaning supplies in this locker. It's a good variety, but nothing I would need. A good variety of what? A variety, uh, it's, I'm about to say a variety of what? Are you going to read the Stanley Parable? Yeah, I'm going to read it. I'll just have a look around. Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you. No matter where you are or what you may be doing, I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel... Yeah, I know you feel intensely lonely. Yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key's behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital, I mean in all of Sant Hill. Except me, Stanley Coleman. Except it's all Stanley Coleman. Right, I believe we've investigated everywhere on this floor. We have. We need a key to get through the big red door there. Right. Well, not a key, but the key. Right, let's go to that doctor's office, see if there's anything of use there. It did say something about the doctor and blah blah blah. Doctor- oh, that's doctor's lounge. I think doctor's lounge is that, is it? Well, we'll have a look at the doctor's lounge anyway, it seems like it's right here. Still didn't seem to be anything of massive importance, did there? Nothing of interest on top of the desk. It's a medical record or something. It's for this Leonard guy. Could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Room S12. Presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations. Emotional instability. Obsessive ideas. Suspect mild schizophrenia. Will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to the reports, it becomes very violent when overexcited. The one is for Stanley Coleman. This is a guy who wrote that sick diary. Sick diary. Sick. Room S07. Usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. Twelve zero seven. Down. You can write down twelve zero seven if you want to give that a try. The um, it said something about the doctor and stuff like that, knowing the code. And the doctor reports there. There's like four numbers. I don't know. I'm just clutching at straws, mate. Your, your you yeah. Figure out which fucking direction it's meant to be in. Oh my god, I'm nowhere near. This right where? Ah, oh, that bloody is, yeah. The 
It's no zero. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. Hey, well, actually, I didn't know. I was just clutching at straws. So... Oh, right. Go on, read it out while I... First is larger than the second. Yeah. Second is twice the third. Yeah. The third is smaller than the fourth. Yeah. And the fourth is half the first. Yeah. Four of the numbers are not repeated. I assume that just means, like... They're all in individual. Yeah. Three are not in the top row. Yeah. Two are not in the oh, right... Three are yeah. I thought it said three is not in the top row. So no. I was looking at the key card, but three is not one, so two, three. So it can't be one, two, or three, can it? So three are not top row. Yeah. And two are not in the right row. Two are not in the right row. Okay. One of the numbers is the final key. Okay. I just cannot work this out without a pen and paper. Yeah, sorry. Like, if I, if I could have both of these on screen at the same time, like the no and the keypad. So unless she's getting close. That, that doesn't make sense either. That's just possible. Sorry. Yeah? Yeah, that's just possible as well. Let's have a look. I'm not oh even... Oh god, okay, let me explain what I've written down here. Okay. Basically... Um, first is greater than second, does this all make sense? Second is two times the third. Right, does this all make sense? Hmm. Okay, three are not in the top row. This is the number pad. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. Okay, now what I did was one equals two equals three equals four equals. Now all the possibilities. Now because one, um, four is half of the first and it only goes up to nine, it can only possibly be one, two, three, or four. So those are all the possibilities, right? Um, then I came to one is a double, so it's only going to be two, four, six, or eight. Um, second is two times the third, so that means that the second can only be an even number. Um, is that right? Yeah, second can only be an even number. So second can only be uh, two, four, six, or eight. The third is less than the fourth, so it can only be one, two, or three. So have a fun with that, that's the best I can come up with on the spot. That gives you a little bit of leeway, doesn't it? Let's see. Now three are not in the top row, so that means only one of these can be one, two, or three. So once you've figured out which one is one, two, or three, you can scribble out all the other one, two, and threes. Same with the three, six, and nine, but there's only two of them, so you do that one afterwards. Hmm. I'm starting again, I already did this thing over here, but I'm starting again just so I'm double checking. Four is less than four. This is half of the first, so that's... 
first is greater than the second, so that means that it can't be 2. Um, that also means that that can't be 1 or 2. Is that correct? After the first, so... Oh no, it means it can be 2, 3 or 4. So then you've got 1 and 2 and 3. Right, that can only be 1, 2 or 3, so that means that 2 is cancelled out because you can only have one from the top row. So that's one, two, or three. Oh, it's hard. Sorry, I'm really slow at this. Um, second is two times the third. So, okay, that can't, that can't be, see what I mean? You come to these, like, collisions, like, um, second is two times the third, and because the second can't be two, that means the third can't be one, but then, no, wait, no, that's fine. Okay, sorry. No, that's fine. Um, sorry. Ah, so that means... One, two, three, three, I'm not in the top row. So that means that because that's only two or three, that means that that's definitely the one from top row, so you can scribble out that single last number's four. See, I didn't come up with this before. I came up with last number's one. What, what is going on? <sighs> I've got to be honest, that's kind of what level I were on. When the fourth said it's half the first, I've got to be honest, I was thinking on the lines of like eight for the first digit and four for the last one. First is greater than the second. So that means that they can't be four as well, because that would be the same. No, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Three, six, and nine, only two. Can't the second be um, six and the third one be three? Probably. How have you figured this out? So it'd be eight, six, three, four. Yeah, that could be it, but we'll give it a how do you know? Why have, why have you come to that? What did, what did I say then? Eight, six. Eight, six, three, you said. Eight, six, three, four. <laughs> I I gotta be honest. When um, you said, "Oh, you know, like eight, eight and four, that sprung out of me because that cause it was saying the fourth digit was half of the first digit." Oh yeah, I missed that bit. So it would have to. Be and the, the, pro yeah. the what made me think, well, maybe it, it's got to be an even number, isn't it? Because you, you can't have half of nine. You can't have well, half of seven. Down. You can't have half of five. You can't have half of five, but not on a nine-digit keypad. So it was either going to be eight or six or yeah. four, wasn't it? Sorry, I didn't figure it out the first time. Like I said, I wrote down the it, wrong thing. It couldn't have been two and the other one being one because three of the digits were not one to three, were they? In the top row, one to three. So it was probably going to be either six or eight. But the problem is, half of six was going to be three, which is, it made it very clear, like, the top row is a serious handicap. So the last... Digit was probably going to be, um, or oh, is that half of? Yeah, so the last digit was probably going to be the half, which was going to be four. The first digit was probably going to be eight. At that point, it becomes quite easy to figure out, like, well, what's going to be two times another number, but only one of them is going to be one to three. Well, you've got to have one of them. Like, so it's either going to be two, four, or three, six, or something like that. But it also said a load of the numbers were in the right column, didn't it? Uh, sorry, no, only only one of the numbers was in the right column or something. What was it about the right column? Two of them are not in the right column. Two of them are not in the right column, so it, it was going to be... Um, th there was two two not needed to be in the right column, but it's also... If it's saying two are in the right column, it's saying two are in the right column, wasn't it? So it was just kind of like... I mean, I've got to be honest, Like you put all the framework down. All I did is interpret the information... Figured all that, you're just going all about you figured it out. What well, no, it's not like I figured it out, but you know, like you, you were like then you were like, well, what, how did you get like the six and the three and stuff like that? Yeah, but only because I've done it. Like, I was just I know, I know, no, 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 I'm giving you fair credit. I'm giving you fair credit. I'm saying you put all the framework down. <laughs> all I did is what you did was when I was just about to cross off the last one, you went, oh, I six and three. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound like I dived in there for credit. I probably did. 
I didn't. I didn't. Try and try to figure that no out. bollocks. I'm saying I, I was giving you fair credit. I was saying you worked out all the stuff and you put down the framework and stuff like that. And all I did is went. It's probably eight and six, um, eight and four, and then it's probably other ones six and three. I'll give that a try and stuff like that. You didn't actually say to me eight six four zero whatever it was. Yeah, six four three. Yeah, I was to see what's going on here. Thanks. Like I know she's got an entire page full of stuff there. Like I, I'm saying, you put all the framework no, down. No, I mean I scribbled out all the numbers except for the ones that you just read out. And you're like, oh, it, it must be there. If if I. <laughs> If I'd have been, no, I didn't see your scribbles out. If um, if I'd have had to do that myself, it would have taken me much longer. So, like, so you put down a pretty good framework there, like for the numbers that it could have, like basically Claire put down like there was four rows and the possible numbers in those rows. There was like four numbers per digit Talking that it could have been. Talking. It's like the first digit could have been these four numbers, the second digit could have been these four numbers, the third digit could have been these four numbers, the fourth digit could have been these four numbers. And all I did is went, well, half of this is probably that, 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 and, and there we go. Like, say so you did all the framework and you did all the, um, all the legwork. I did. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, she's only joking, but, like, say all I did is think, well, you know, the only likelihood, there's only a couple of likely numbers that could be half this and double that and stuff. And That's a pretty annoying puzzle to start here already, because you've got to get a pen and paper. You definitely, uh, if you can work that out without a pen and paper, I mean, I'd have got it. But it had taken me twice as long. Yeah. Whereas Claire writing it all down and pretty much getting two thirds of the way there, and then me just going, probably this. I didn't actually know. I mean, it was just like probably that. And there you go. In fact, I'd say probably got about three quarters of the way there, and all I just went, ah, okay. You basically you you put in there like two plus two, and I went, ah, well that equals four. It it was pretty much like that. <laughs> yeah, I know you're joking. Oh my god, what the fuck? Where? Yo, good job there, Claire. Like I say, if I'd have had to work that out myself, because I could actually run around clearing up all the rest of the hospital while you did all that framework. If I'd have had to, like, stand there, I'd have still probably been working out for another five minutes, and I wouldn't have explored and, you know, cleared out all the other areas in that time. Hey, up. Oh, I thought we were going into a cutscene or some shit there. I don't know what we're going to do. The start time is my key. Oh. There's a man's corpse laid out on the stretcher. Hmm. There's also another door, wasn't there, that had a key code on it. There's a medical record here. Could this be for that dead guy? Background unknown. Name and age is unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in... Okay. Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severe cardioid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assumed this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide. Possibly. But wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in the same room. Have not notified police. However, fut for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Yep, just read that. It's gonna jump, is that corpse or something in it? Like a Mexican jumping bean. <laughs> There's papers scattered on the floor. Something's written on them, but none of them really seem to be important because they're not about Heather. Oh, I should have stayed on that scene. Fucking moved and broke it. She's got a, a stranger. Better not. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, it's an alarm clock, not a phone. I did the hand gesture and everything. <laughs> Good job. Alarm already went off. The start time. Oh, do you want me to write this down? Yeah, you can do. Is that 350 there? Or 410, however you want to look at it. Down all the well, it's not 410, is it? It's 310. The attached case. <laughs> is that right? That can't be how you say that. I don't know. <laughs> it's locked either way. Oh, you got another one. Try 1046. What? How what? did you figure that out? 
Same on the um, alarm clock. This was the patient's room, and he said his start time is his alarm, or oh, wow. it was some of that, so... I, I can't remember exactly, but I know it said something about time. Oh, sorry, I was just trying to fucking... You're going, you're going to town again, right? She, she was she was going to write out a big fucking graph again. Well, I, I was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, start time is my key, I wrote that down. And because I was writing down the hands, because it had, like, three hands, right? And one of it, like... It had three hands? Yeah, what it had of... three hands. Oh, you mean the oh, you mean the the shit stain hand that were there as well? They were like a hand that it wasn't a hand. The hands on the clock, Liam. Yeah, there's two hands on a clock. Yeah, but there were three on that one. Yeah, the shit stain. It was just a stain. No, it was, it was the second hand, wasn't it? No, there was there was the hour hand and the minute hand. And the second. And hand. The, what do you mean the second hand? Go on the clock. You're still so at me. Wait a minute. Let's get off of here. Get, fuck. What's in that case? We're solving this puzzle first. The one point at six. That's a shit stain. That's not a hand. I the red hand! Have you not had a clock with a red hand? What, for like seconds and yeah. shit like that? Uh, yeah, so but... I down, like, the, the... <laughs> it's not, it's not standard though, is it? And yes. that No, that's not standard. You get two I've hands on a clock. I've never owned a physical clock, like with actual like, hands and shit, doesn't have a second hand. I've never owned one. I guess. I guess. I guess it is quite common now to think about it. Yeah, that looks like an extra hand. So I wrote down the numbers that they were pointing to, so 10, 4, and 6. <laughs> He's, he's, you've read too much into what's basically the guy <laughs> wiping his ass on his alarm clock. <laughs> and his mate just goes like zero three fifty. She's like, uh? What, what, the, what magic is this? That other one was very what difficult. <laughs> like I say, I, I, I do appreciate that. Cause if I'd have had to work that out myself, that would have been rough. So fucking rough. Because, like I said, it's a shame you couldn't actually see it, guys. Because um, it, it, it was it was pretty damn well done. Like I said, she basically, like, it was the fucking cheat sheet version of the code for me. It was like, he didn't give you the answer exactly, but it was, it was like, it may as well be, it was multiple, ah, that's it, yes, but that's a good way of putting it. You didn't see my guys drinking. I actually did notice your little <laughs> diagram. That was pretty good, though. I did notice that. Drunk. Little scribble of two guys getting drunk on a table. I, was, I did notice that, but we were in, we were busy working shit out, so I didn't have time to comment on it. But it was like the mul you gave me the multiple choice version. But to begin with, there was no multiple choice, was it? Is it one or two? Nope. Is it two or three? Nope. Whereas Claire had worked it out to the point of multiple choice. That's the better way of putting it, wasn't it? You, you made it multiple choice for me. So you didn't even actually give me it on the play, but you kind of did. But certainly not, not not to any degree that anybody could complain. <laughs> did. I got an instant camera. There's nothing else interesting in the UK, so I'm not even saying. Instagram some shit. Was... Instagram that guy's diary. <laughs> Instagram in his diary? Why are you trying to Instagram everything? Because he's got a camera now. There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bagger is. Ah, but don't mind... But sorry, but don't misunderstand. I don't know where I got mine from. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest, since I can't cut, o cut it open to show you my heart. Okay. I love you, Heather. Psycho. No, uh, no, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. What, of cutting open your chest to write a message? Yeah, very tender. It will be afterwards. Hey, up, they're all out here, aren't they? Oh shit. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Nope. As always, the camera swung me around. Oh my god. Did I keep falling for the trap rooms, don't I? Like, I don't have to go in them. I can't. Oh. It did, I just skipped it so damn far. I don't know, I don't... You never know which direction you're facing. Right, here we go. Oh my god. Right, have I been in every door? I have, except for the elevator. But wait a minute, what key items did I get out of that? I've got a camera. I've still got a perfume. Oh shit, I am about to die. Those pipes hurt. Ampoule? No, it's just a med kit. That'll do. Alright, let's kind of guide him over to this left side. Not one of the right needs to come up. 
<laughs> it's just gonna go. <laughs> Oh my god, she's a good shot too! I thought that was syringe, it's a gun! No way at that! A Silent Hill enemy shot me with a revolver! No way that happened, that is awesome! Kind of! No way! Oh my god! God, that, there's one in front of me and you just would not know. Oof, bailed. So I've got a camera. And perfume. Nice. Now there was another door. Maybe it's encouraging you to be a sexy porn lady. Maybe. You came out with something that was bullshit even by my standard circle. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was another keypad thing here. There is, but it doesn't actually count. Oh, that's wrong bone. Oh man. See now we're, now I'm stumped. At least there was the code to figure out before and everything. Perfume and a camera. What have I possibly seen? Maybe camera that guy's arm? No, because the, the, the arm was the clue to get the camera, wasn't it? So why would, you get, why would the arm's guy be a clue? The arm's guy? The guy's arm? Why would that be a clue to get a camera so you could take a picture of his arm? That does not make sense. But if you look at the map, I've scribbled out a lot of doors, or been through them. There's no, like, there's something here that you could maybe use, you know, but you've not figured it out. The only thing I can think of is, wasn't there a key stuck to a wall or something? Didn't I get that key? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, oh, that's why, that's why you were figuring out oh, the puzzle. Sorry. Yeah, I used the um, the nail varnish remover thing, nail polish remover on the the key, and it come unstuck. I made a sound for it and everything. You missed it. Oh. Uh, it's locked. Is this door that the only place that I would like to go to is where I am now, and the door is locked. So elevator will take you there, but it doesn't take you to the third floor. I don't know, what's that light doing off? Back in the elevator. Unfortunately, you, you can't leap to free. And you can't go to the basement. Click it one time. I tried to click it. You want the closed door? Hmm. Let's try to go back down to one. I don't know why. I don't know why. Does, I just... I don't know. What would you, what would you need to take a picture of? What in God's name would you need to take a picture of? Can you get back out? I haven't found Leonard yet. Nope. Show. Wait, what the other guy going to Lena's house? Oh, I think yeah. they're looking for him, so one goes to the hospital and one goes to the house or something, I'm so not sure. How do you know he's here? He might be at the house. Mm, it's true. Wow. Where does it. Uh, it's like. I've got key items. What's on the left of that? That's Dad's notebook. Oh. 